Most people pause their Unity game by setting the time scale to zero, but there's actually a much better way to do this using events. Here's how you do it. In your project, create a new script called Game State. This will be an enum with two values, Gameplay and Paused. Go back to your project and create another script called Game State Manager. This will be a singleton since we only want one across the game. Add a private constructor, a private static instance field, a static instance property with a getter. This will return or create a new instance. Create a delegate called Game State Changed Handler that takes a game state as a parameter. Then create a public event using this delegate called On Game State Changed. We'll fire this event when we want to change the state. Speaking of state, create a public game state property called Current Game State with a private setter. Now create a public method called Set State that takes a game state as a parameter. First, we'll check that the state has actually changed before we continue. Next, set the current game state to the new state and then call invoke on on game state changed to fire the event. Now we need to listen for the event. Find a script that will be affected by pausing. I'll use this player movement script as an example. Add a method called on game state changed that takes a game state as a parameter. Set the components enable property based on the game state parameter. In the components awake method, subscribe to the game state manager's on game state changed event. In the components on destroy method, unsubscribe from the event. This will prevent memory leaks and errors after the object is destroyed. Now, let's set the game state. Back in your project, create a new script called pause controller. In the update method, check if the escape key is being pressed. If it is, we'll get the current state from the game state manager and toggle it. Finally, we call set state on the game state manager to notify all our listeners. Back in your project, add a game object called game manager and add this pause game controller script to it. When you enter play mode and hit escape, the game will pause and resume. But why use this instead of time scale? First, setting time scale can break your UI animations and any timers that are running in the background. Second, this approach can be extended to handle other states, like level loading or cutscene playing. Finally, it offers more control over how each component is affected by the game being paused. For example, it can be used to show or hide a pause menu, play or stop an audio source, or enable or disable input controls using the Unity input system. You can find all the code links in the description. If you enjoyed the video, why not leave a like and subscribe for more. See you later.